Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. Now this will be for the 21st to the 27th of February 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support if you haven't. Welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it is a general reading, so it's not going to suit everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Okay. Gemini, what's going on with you? More, please, for Gemini. Thanks. Okay. So you, you're overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. You're communicating clearly, concisely, remaining objective, having a fresh start. You possibly are getting some truth, getting some clarity, um, justice, success. You know, some sort of breakthrough. Um, I feel like whatever it was, there was a lack of victory in this situation. Um, I also feel like it affected your confidence. Um, you felt neglected. Okay, let me have a look what's on the table for a second. The first card, um, I'll see what feelings I get as to which way I read them. <laughs> Today's been oh, all kinds. Okay, so the first card you've got is the Two of Cups. Now, when I've done these readings, it seems to be that that's like the main card about the whole read um so we'll see if it's relevant but it's like you've had some sort of breakup there's distrust some sort of misunderstanding something um and it's like i don't feel like you've forgiven this person i don't feel like you've it's like you had a breakup and it's the ending of challenges i feel like you're still having other stuff go on um and i really i felt like you didn't want to give up on this person but you know it is what it is um you're not anymore but at the same time um like you're not after a resurgence or a, you know of this of this relationship but i feel like you kind of had to give up on them for whatever reason well you did give you know yeah i feel like you had to you had to make a choice you know i feel like you were over analyzing a lot and yeah i feel like you really needed to get clarity on what you wanted and move forward this could have involved an addiction somebody could have had many options um but it's like make a choice you know like um you had a bit of wishful thinking or, or you saw this person like it's a bit of an illusion like they put on a front that they're this kind of person but i feel like they weren't they were a complete different kind of person and probably if you know obviously if they had showed who they were you wouldn't probably have gone there um but 
yeah, there's conflict, there was disagreements, you're going through court with this person, um, you're in competition with other people. It was like, yeah, I just feel like it wasn't a good situation. And you walked, I feel like you walked away from this drama. And you've realized you needed to walk, you need to walk away from drama. If it's, if it's not really worth your time, walk away. Otherwise, stand up for yourself. But I feel like walk away. Um, let's get something, let me get a card on that first. Tell me more about those, that situation. Yeah, like there was definite, as I said, temptation, some sort of devil energy, addictions, you know, lies, obsessions, whatever this is. Um, and like I don't know why the victory and success card is here you've like the six of um wands is all about success and victory and progress maybe public recognition i don't know like i'm not sure if it's more that they it's not victory and success but it's more did this person in the is this in the like public eye something like that it made you feel exhausted anyway. Tell me, why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? The Sun card in reverse. Like, have you maybe become... Like, you couldn't be authentically you with this person, possibly? Um... Like, it really didn't make you feel good. At the same time, someone didn't want to make a decision. Like, but I feel like you wanted victory and success with this person as well. But, you know, they, they were like the devil. Um... And it really made you feel like a bit of a victim. Like you really went through, you know, I'm hearing hell and back with this person. <laughs> That's pretty extreme. Um, yeah, like you felt lonely, rejected. You went through hardship. Um, you felt left in the cold. You could have had financial loss. Um, yeah, like... I don't, I don't feel like it's, um, and I mean, involve, if it's involving court, like I said, maybe, you know, maybe it's not a good situation anyway. Um, okay. Now, um, I feel like after you have this breakup though, like you definitely completed a lesson. Like you completed the goal lesson. So it's all about completion and endings of bringing new beginnings. It's about victory, success. And maybe that's what that card meant. You know, like you have this breakup with this devil person. But this is you feeling like you're proud, you're proud of yourself. Um, you got some spiritual line enlightenment. You, you know, it's like, as I said, endings bring new beginnings. And um, I really feel like maybe you doubted your intuition with this person, or like. 
I don't know if you got some messages about this person or whatever, but it's like you didn't either know or you didn't trust that. You didn't trust. Yeah, I just feel like you didn't trust your intuition or you didn't know. Um, and I feel like you're a very loyal, dedicated, protective person. Like, you know, I feel like that's you. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is you, you know you wait for perfect timing and i feel like you've also got someone on the other side whether it's a loved pet or whether it's a you know family member but someone's watching over you and you may not it may not feel like it because i feel like you've had it you've had it rough that's what i feel like um but like now things are going to start getting better for you and you really just need to make sure you trust your intuition as i said um can you tell me more about that yeah i feel like you're in denial at first you had your heart was saying one thing yeah but you needed to have that solitude you needed to do some soul searching some introspection um, you know, there was a big tower moment that happened, the intuition cards there again, you know, and I feel like you're moving on from this emotional loss. I feel like you've, you're, you've forgiven yourself. I feel like you're moving on. You've got hope again, but like, you know, you are going to get your wishes fulfilled. You're focusing on, you know, your material comforts and you being independent and self-sufficient. I don't know if you ever spoke your truth though to this person. Um... But, yeah, maybe you need to write a letter, return it to the earth, like burn it, if that's what you need to do, if you don't want to contact them. Um, okay, then, now this person could be a Pisces as well. I don't know if I've said other signs, but definitely Pisces. Um And you've mostly got cups, pentacles, and wands. Uh, oh, any other sorts. So all the signs are here. Um, so you've got the moon in reverse. And, you know, you need to release the fear that, you know, it's going to, I guess, happen again. Or you're going to end up hurt. Or, you know, whatever this is. You, you repress a lot. And maybe you're even confused about what went on in that situation um yeah i feel like maybe you didn't as i said i just feel like you didn't see or know about this deception um about the lies um the secrets yeah Yeah. Um, I, I feel like that caused a lot of depression too. Like this whole situation has caused you to doubt yourself, to, you've, you know, you think a lot about this, if, you know, you just... I feel like depressed is what I want to say. Like, even looking at the picture, look at his face. Like, he doesn't look bloody happy. Um, and why would you be? You know what I mean? So I feel like this is definitely, yeah. Like, I feel like you have a, you, you know, it's it's fine for you to feel like, a bit of a victim because of or a victim because of whatever you've been through but at the same time it's like 
wake up because like imagine if you hadn't found out imagine if like okay let's just use the example of someone's an abuser right just i don't know say that now someone's an abuser you didn't know they'd been i don't know they were violent and they'd been beating up you know random people or exes or freaking whoever their family and you didn't have a clue right you either didn't know or your intuition you know you didn't trust it you thought something was off but you didn't trust it one or the other now the reality is you if you got out of that situation you bloody dodged a huge ass bullet can you see what i'm saying like you can look at it and be all oh this is so negative and i'm feeling depressed and i went through this and that and blah and i'm not trying to belittle what you've been through because you know we've all been through a lot of crap in our lives but look at the positives turn it around change your perspective and realize you dodged a huge ass bullet so no matter what it was it's like i guess realize the realize what it is that you like look at the positives like you know you escaped being you know in a violent relationship or you dodged a bullet because someone's into i don't know something else whatever it is i'm really bad at examples <laughs> whatever this is just know you dodged a bullet um i feel like you also worry about what people think you know what others thought or you're obsessed with the details um yeah like also you probably obsessed with how did i not know or how like why didn't i trust you know my intuition or you know whatever i just feel like you're obsessed with those details but yeah as i said like you're failing to recognize the point you're, you're missing the point here but stop focusing on the negative because things didn't turn out the way you anticipated but everything happens for a reason so look and funny enough i was saying that here but like i look down and there's the exact same card mm. it's funny you got the two and the three of wands so you're progressing um but at the moment you know like you i guess you know you fear the unknown really and you have a lot of inner conflict maybe because oh why didn't i know blah 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 um and that causes a lot of frustration it causes you know you to possibly want to stay in your comfort zone so this won't ever happen again you know tell me more now with the death card which could be a scorpio i mean it came out like this right because i feel like you were resisting the change you also do need to do some work on yourself and get rid of all these things that are, whatever isn't for your highest good but at the same time i feel like there was some sort of ending and i feel like you know you know it's time to move on at the same time you know I feel like you severed ties or someone severed ties. It's caused you to feel like, yeah, you are trapped in fear though. As I said, I don't know why I said a violent situation, but this means violence as well. Uh, miscommunication, it can mean resisting the change. You're frustrated, you know any of that and for somebody it may be violent okay 
see anything else yeah learn just learn from this i feel like you know you could have been living with this person or married or you know maybe you just needed to learn your values and expectations weren't the same um theirs wasn't the same as yours but you got some wisdom i feel like you definitely learned in this situation okay last shuffle And you will get through this, you know, you're doubting yourself, but you are a strong individual. You will get through this. Yeah, look, not the same values. This person was like the devil. Just look at it like they could have given you, or they could have caused some financial loss, but I feel like it's more of a lost opportunity. And maybe it's a good, you know, that's a good thing that it's not yeah i feel like maybe that's a good thing um okay that's what i have um gemini i hope that resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will catch you with the next read thanks for watching bye